We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Bobby Portis with a strong contribution so far in this one. Yeah, pretty much all throughout that first half. And he was taking care of his business on the low blocks and getting more than his fair share of dunks. Guys, he's been in beast mode down low, asserting his will. The defense has been helpless, unable to slow him down. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Starting off the second half, here's Joe Missoula's five. Tatum in the front court, alongside Horford. The guard pair, it's White and Brown. And it's Przingis in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And it's Brown missing. Bucks leading by 19. Now, on the Kumbo. Down low. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And it goes on Jason Tatum. First personal. You really have to appreciate and respect the spirit Giannis plays the game with an attitude of joy and unselfishness, a beacon of energy and enthusiasm for his team. They all feed off of him. He's one of the most popular players in the world. He's off on the first. And Greg, with the coaching changes in Milwaukee, where are they looking for improvement? Well, Kevin, they, they've been dominant in the regular season, but the playoffs require adjustments. That chess match is where they hope to improve. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. You know, Greg, many in Boston question the wisdom of the smart Porzingis trade. Uh, what do you think of the move? I mean, I think given age and injuries in their front court, the trade makes sense, right? Also, they got some draft capital, but the ultimate test of this trade will be in the playoffs. The ring is the thing. Lillard finds Giannis. In the corner, Middleton with it. Inside. And it's Lillard missing. Celtics trail by 17. Outside Tatum. Knocks it loose. Here's Connaughton. He's got nine. For three, Middleton. A rebound by the Celtics. Persingas has got his eighth rebound here tonight. And out of the gates here in the second half, they have not started well. 0 of 3. Brown has a nice shot repertoire. Clearly, the mid range doesn't give him much trouble. Lillard against White. Lillard attacking. Nice D from Porzingis. Well, an awful beginning to this half, guys, missing their first four attempts. And White kicks to Porzingis. The pass to Horford. And the turnover again by Boston. And now look at Jason Tatum. Last season, he played outstanding. Last season, put up about 30 points a game. Eight rebounds and four assists. The, the real story, though, is how big of an impact he makes on the defensive end. Absolutely. I mean, he's a lockdown guy for him, both on the ball and when helping out. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldrin. Well, Kevin, Jason Tatum said his quiet demeanor may belie his hunger to win for some people. He said, I feel like sometimes I come off so laid back that I don't know if people understand how much I invest into this game, how much I care, how hard I work, because I'm not the loudest or may show everything. Kevin? Yeah. You know, his passion, D.A., for the game is right there. We appreciate your story. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Fires the three. Rebounded by the Bucks. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. After the Kumbo finds Lillard. Giannis sets a screen for Lillard to stop the drought. Horford with the rebound. Horford's got six rebounds here tonight. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Pass to Brown. From downtown, the shot's good on the assist by Horford. Horford's got his fourth assist in this one. 
And, you know, we've seen Brown accept more responsibility over time on offense, including taking these quick shots. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Let's take a look at the 2K leaderboard to find out who were the best shooters from behind the arc last season. Second is Al Horford. Fourth, Malcolm Brogdon. What shooting we saw from them all season. I mean, I'd love to see these guys in a game of horse. They'd probably be draining shots from midcourt. White against Lillard. Shoots over White. Here's Lopez. Hits it down to Middleton. Adetokounmpo against Horford. In the corner, Middleton with it. Al Horford with the rebound. Horford's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Tatum with it. Now guarded by Adetokounmpo. Porzingis. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Lillard, the pass to Giannis. And they double up Giannis. Lopez dishes to Antetokounmpo. Can they get it? Oh, and Antetokounmpo hammers it in. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. Right, the pass to Horford. And the whistle blows. It'll be on Pat Connaughton. That'll be his second foul of the game. First team foul. Here's Brown. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. Brown's got seven points for the quarter. Well, uh, they're getting stops, and they're attacking on the offensive end. And, you know, it's taken a big run, but they were able to get back into this one. Very impressive. No quit in these guys. And, Greg, the way the Celtics have approached this season in terms of intensity, I think they clearly feel, though, they have unfinished business. They've been so close to a title for a number of years. They've even been title favorites at times. It's part of the maturation process as excruciating as it may be. And both free throws good for Damian Lillard. And I like the work Lillard's put into his defense the past few seasons. He may not be a stopper, but he's improved immensely at that end of the floor. Here's Persingas, and he uses the glass on the way. Persingas has got 12. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Lillard outside. Kumbo, a screen on white. A second chance effort. Antetokounmpo can't get it to go. And here's Boston. They're on a 13-4 run. Here's Tatum. Almost, but it rolls out. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Lillard, the pass to Antetokounmpo. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. A shot by Middleton. Wide open. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. Bucks leading by 10. Lillard outside. He kicks to Middleton. To the middle. Here's Yacht. And onto Dukumbo slows it in. Middleton, the scorer by nature. That time showing you can find his teammates too. Austin's gone one of four and three point shots here in the third. Brown against Connaughton. They swipe it. And here we go. Here's Yacht. The shot that time, not on target. Good work defensively by Horford. Celtics trail by 12. Right wing, jacks up a three, and a clear foul there as he shot the triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. And let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Bucks. Well, you know, for me, the passing has been fantastic all night. Everybody loves watching this style of basketball where the ball moves and players move. Coaches, fans, and even us broadcasters can appreciate that kind of action.
And you also have to applaud how they've attacked the interior in this game. A lot of points happening for them in the paint tonight. Lopez a screen on white. Here's Willard. Porzingis with the block. When a guy has a 7-6 wingspan like Porzingis does, it's just tough to get away from him or get by him. That allows him to block a lot of shots. Brown right side. Launches a three. And the rejection by Adekumbo. And it goes out of bounds. The last touch by Adekumbo. Austin may get a switch here. Williams is checked in. Here's Brown. Lopez with the block. Great timing on Lopez's part there to spot down that attempt. They get it back. Williams. Porzingis against Giannis. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. And looking now at the numbers for Lillard. Coming off a terrific season. And his passing skills were on full display all year. He ranked among the top 15 in assists. And you only average top three in points if you have a particular mindset that, that you are the guy. To the paint, here's Middleton. Great D that time from Tatum. Celtics trail by 10. Over in the corner, Przingis. Off target with his three. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. And it's Beasley in the corner. And it's headed to Kumbo, picking up the assist. Giannis has got his eighth assist here tonight. You take a look at his career numbers, and most of Beasley's shots are threes. So Malik knows how to knock those down. Here's Brown. Here's Williams, and it's Williams with the jam. Just a terrific effort on the offensive glass. That's how they're going to cut into this lead. And Greg, a, a dunk like that is sure to give them a spark. Which is a spark they desperately need. They've got to ramp up the intensity. Lopez sets a screen for Lillard. Shoots over White. Rebound Boston. Williams has got his sixth rebound on the night. The three from Tatum. Take that! Oh, Tatum from the parking lot. And it looks to me like he still has some of the shooting touch that he displayed in the first. Lillard against White. Lopez sets a screen for Lillard. Shoots over White. Porzingis with the rebound. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Defense better watch out. They better be alert because this guy can make three, as we saw in the first half. And Lillard kicks to Beasley. Lillard on top, right covering. Giannis passes to Lopez. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Lopez has got his second bucket of the game to go. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. And another miss. Woo, he's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Ring shot on the way. And again, it's Milwaukee converted. And the shot first mindset of Lillard, when he sees an opening in the defense, He's looking to attack. And White kicks to Tatum. Porzingis with a screen on Middleton. Tatum down low. Defended by Middleton. Tatum clearly putting on the show in this one. Doing it all. Bucks leading by 10. Lillard outside. The dish to Giannis. Takes it down to Middleton for three. A rebound by the Celtics. White's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Just to Persingas. Epic counts. Persingas has got 14 points for the game. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. And Porzingis had a lot of suitors, GA, over the summer. Eventually, the Celtics made the move for him. Porzingis, he had his game and value in D.C. 
With the Wizards rebuilding, he was a prime trade target. Boston went for him early, and he could be a difference maker for the Celtics. Kicks it out to Lillard. On the wing, Giannis. One oh two left to play here in the third. Five on the clock. Middleton dishes to Giannis. Looking to end his cold spell. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Third person. It goes on Jason Tatum. Nice bit of trickery there from Chris Middleton. He knows exactly how to effectively use that shot fake. Looking at the Bucks, GA. They've made the playoffs every year since 2017. And Kevin, as long as Giannis is at the helm, that streak should continue for a while. He's arguably the best player in the world. The guys want to play with this kid. The playmaking of Brown continuing to evolve. Nice dime there. Middleton against Brown. Pass to Connaughton. Lopez sets a screen for Connaughton. Nice D from Williams. And so it's Brogdon with it. He brings it up for Boston. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. And, and he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. And you know, fellas, one second quicker, and that's going the other way. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Williams, a screen on Connaughton. And it's slammed in by Williams. Slashing with purpose there. After setting that screen, Williams knows where to position himself in these sets. Middleton finds Beasley. Middleton on the wing. Portis sets the pick for Middleton. Got it up. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They've got a big advantage in the turnover stance because of their intense defense. And we'll be back with you shortly. 67. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. So with Lillard on the bench, this is who Adrian Griffin has out there. They've got Brooke Lopez. Pat Connaughton is out there with Malik Beasley. And then there's Antetokounmpo. And it's Portis in at the four. Robert yep, it goes Robert. in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down to four on the bucket from Williams. Milwaukee has gone 7 of 15 from three point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. And they double up on it to It's Beasley on the wing. Misses the three. Celtics trail by four. And there's the pass to Tatum. Here's Pritchard. Three pointer. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Tatum's got four assists now tonight. And Tatum knows how to find his guys in their spots now. A solid passer at his position. Stolen by Brogdon. And it's tied up with that one. Jake Crowder's checked in for Lopez. He makes one of two that time. He should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. Austin's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And that one's good, Brogdon. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. And the double up out of the Kumbo. Outside Portis. They get it. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. For Boston, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. The Bucs have gone 0 of 3 to start the fourth quarter. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. And they double up on it to Kumbo. Wants to get it to Beasley and does. Portis can't get it to go. The Celtics with the lead. Tatum with it. Beasley covering. 
Here's the triple. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got nine rebounds now tonight. And the double up on the Kumbo. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Andy Kumbo. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. White is checked in for Pritchard. And the whistle blows. It'll be on Pat Connaughton. That's his fourth foul of the contest. That's his fourth foul. I'm sure he recognizes the situation because number five would put him in a rough, tough spot. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Crowder against Tatum. A shot. And right on target. Good. Tatum's got 20 points. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Bucks making a change here. Oh, champs checked in. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey guys, during that break, listen in on Adrian Griffith. He was disappointed in the shot selection. He told them, stay patient, run the offense, make the extra pass. We don't have to make up the deficit all at once. We'll see if they start shooting a little better. Kevin? Thank you, David. Here's Yachts. Misses and the dry spell continues. Celtics leading by four. Brogdon scanning the floor. Passes it to Hauser. Over onto the Kumbo. Hauser misses. I think in that situation, it was a nice try to create some space for himself with the fadeaway. And Giannis throwing it down. And the ball handling about not good. Really unreal. For a guy his size, his dribbling is ridiculous. Oh, wow. Man, it's still early in the period, and they're only one foul away from being over the limit. Here's White. In the corner, it's Brogdon. Fires for three. Drills the three-pointer. Brogdon's got the lead up to five now for the Celtics. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. And Andre Tacumbo swings it in. Giannis has tremendous physical attributes, but his confidence is something that separates him from most. Here's Tatum. The shot goes down. Jason Very Tatum. quick possession right there. Tatum's got nine points here in the second half. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. Powers through inside. Giannis. Could have been called a foul, but Giannis stayed locked in and focused. Here's Tatum. Milwaukee with the rebound. And here is Hunter DeCumbo. Austin grabs the miss. Williams has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. And the whistle blows. It'll be on Pat Connaughton. That will be foul number five on him. What? White finds Tatum. Back to White. The tray. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Connaughton passes to Bochamp, and he makes that one. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Zinkis, he's checked in for Boston. Brown comes in for Malcolm Brogdon. For Boston, they've gone 6 of 13, so just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the quarter. Porzingis with a screen on Crowder. Tatum against Crowder. The offensive rebound. Out to White. Pass to Porzingis. That's the three fly. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got double digit rebounds now in the game. Slam home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. It goes on Jason Tatum. The sheer power of Ante the Kumpo. Goes up and throws it down. <laughs> that is impressive. That's his fourth personal foul. 
second team foul. And on the free throw, no good. Austin trailing. To the inside. Celtics passing it around and out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. And the Bucks making a change here. Bo Jamps checked in. Milwaukee's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Lillard up top. Mike covering. Middleton for three. Rebound Boston. Persingas has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Inside, Williams. And Williams with the stuff. And that's a double-double for him now. 10 points and 14 rebounds. An unreal athlete. Williams gets off the floor with such ease to power it down. Snatched up. How about the determination? Now that's what we call competing for a rebound. Here's Tatum, the 15-footer. Good. Tatum's got 24. Well, Tatum can find a shot he wants just about anywhere. He's got that kind of versatility. Crowder sets a screen for Lillard. And there's the drive. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Boston? The three-pointers and how well they're able to shoot them. You wonder if they can keep it up. And boy, have they. And another thing they've been exceptional at is their passing. On-target ball movement has gotten them a lot of assists tonight. Well, Celtics making a switch here. Orford's checked in. White inside. Covered by Lillard. The three from Tatum. The three from Tatum. And he's on his way to putting up a big three-point total. Bucks trail by three. Here's Antetokounmpo and the dunk by Giannis. I'll tell you what, it's absolutely foolish and futile to let Antetokounmpo get space to sprint towards the rim. I mean, the dunks he jams home are just downright filthy, ugly, nasty, wicked. Right the pass to Persingas. And play stop the whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Well, it seems like he's gotten a little loose with it since halftime. His fingers may be a little slick or slippery. He went from no turnovers in the first half to quite a few here in the second. Lillard outside. Front past the arc. And he's good on the three ball. Lillard's got five points now in the quarter. First three of the half. Second of the game. Can he beat up? They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. And that one misses. What impresses me most about Porzingis is how versatile he is. I love that about a big man who does a little bit of everything. Lillard finds Lopez. Horford with the rebound. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Knocked loose. And to the Kumbo inside. He's against Brzingis. Let's it fly. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. Man, that was a remarkable pump fake from Arthur Tacumpo. I mean, he's really good at selling that shot fake. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And, and forget about the miss for a moment and focus on the fact that he's done a great job putting pressure on the defense. He's off on the second. And the charity stripe once again proving to be the Achilles heel for him. His free throws have been way off the mark. The athletic prowess of Tatum on full display. What a move to the bucket. And Lillard kicks to Giannis. White against Lillard. Takes a three. Trains the three-pointer. Lillard's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the Bucks. Went right down to the wire here. Still anyone's ball game. Yeah, and after all the energy both sides have expended, both teams still hungry for the game. Here's Tatum. 
Here's Persingas. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Celtics lead by one. How about these big shots for him in the fourth? He has been locked and loaded offensively. Lopez sets a screen for Lillard. Shoots over White. Rebound Boston. Persingas has got rebound number 15 here tonight. White against Lillard. White the pass to Persingas. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. You know, guys, KP sometimes is just overwhelming. I mean, when he gets good position, he sometimes just forces the defense to foul. And so he makes both from the line. Bucks Timeout called time. the Bucks. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum getting it done today. He is killing it. They, they've got to be all up in his jersey at all times. Give him even an inch, and you just ask him for him to drop another triple on. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Defense has Giannis well covered, but he gets physical right back and draws the foul in the act of shooting. And he's letting a lot of points get away at the free throw line tonight. It's got to be frustrating to have all that hard work not pay off. They've got to play good defense here. That trip to the line helped and hurt. White against Lillard. White with it. Brown outside. No good on the three. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. So I tell you, the future of the Greek freak is extremely bright. I mean, he really has shown the ability to deliver in important spots of game. Here's Lillard and Damian Lillard with the jam. That Lillard is worth it. That's talent you can build a franchise around. Down low. Whoops. Anticipated the pass. Turnover. Out of the combo finds Lillard. Off the mark there with the three point shot. Boston trail. Here's Brown. Plays it up and banks it in. Brown's got nine points here in the second half. Hey, and with Brown, guys, it doesn't matter what point in the game it is. I mean, he's ready to shoot whenever he has the ball in a good spot. On the Kumbo, a screen on white. Three-pointer, Lillard, and the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. Man, the attitude of Antetokounmpo, really impressive. Really what you want to see in your team's best player. He's a guy that doesn't back down when the game gets tight and things are on the line. Tatum kicks to Horford. One oh two left in the fourth quarter. Horford with a screen on Middleton. Here's the three. Cranes it from downtown. He's such a clutch shooter. He just lives for the big shot. Milwaukee's gone a disappointing two or six on three point attempts here in the fourth. Lopez sends a screen for Lillard. Good. Boy, just look at what Damian Lillard is doing. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They trail by one. 47 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Up the inbound. Again with the block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Forty-four seconds left in the game. A three from Porzingis. You know, with the length he has, it is very hard to get a clean look at the rim over Lopez. He's an excellent rim protector. I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. Yeah, smart move. Here's Lillard. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second personal foul. That one on White. He had a foul to give there, but you'd rather not have it cost your team points. I agree. I mean, we would have been better off using it on the floor and not on the shot. But the foul had to come either way, so it is what it is. The 
drives the first, and that will put them up by two. High stakes moment, but Dane is a high percentage free throw shooter. He knows he's got this. So both free throws are good. Boston, it's a three-point game. Those were pressure-packed free throws. And he looked as cool as he could be. So big to give them that three-point lead. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're trailing by three. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's thrown by Jacumbo. And they go to the intentional foul. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. How about this for a nugget? In clutch situations, Giannis's free throw numbers go up. I think that points to his concentration and focus. The game has come down to this. Huge possession. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Tatum draws the double. Warford from outside. Can't hit that one. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. And guys, this is where their depth really comes into play. They, they've got such talent at that position. They'd love to have him out there, but they won't suffer much of a drop-off. And You know, Lopez, to me, is what you think of when you hear the term stretch five. A center with some real deep range. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. I think it's a wrap. When the game's on the line, he knows how to deliver the crushing blow. Horford, no luck. So they foul intentionally. No choice but to foul there, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the run. But there was no time, really, to be selective. Stopping the clock was a priority. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's an eight-point game. Puts up a deep three. Off target with that shot. And so the Bucks take the win. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Dane, how much do you challenge yourself to provide that scoring to get this team over the hump? I mean, coming into the game, I know I'm going to get a lot of attention. Uh, team's trying to stop me, so I let it come to me. And, um, you know, nobody has ever won a game in the first half. Um, it, it gets done in the second half, so that's when I come on and try to get it done. That is when the stars shine the brightest, and you are shining out there tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you. Thank you for that, David. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.